Don't eat my camera. Excellent. The coronavirus, COVID-19 era continue to change our lives. Physically distance and face masks are still the norm. People are exploring new ways of surviving and making a living. Lifestyles have changed. People have had to adapt to a new way of living. During the pandemic of 2020 and 2021, after weathering months of stay-at-home self-quarantine, two free-spirited, liberal-minded souls, Hawkeye and Jeannie are second-generation hippies and are aging baby boomers who are still out and having fun. Come and ride along with Hawkeye and Jeannie, on their journey, in a van, visiting cities, communities, towns, and other places of interest to determine what is really going on during the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic. Who is in business and who is not? What is the new normal way to live? How are people surviving? Then report back to you with these videos. This is what Hawkeye's Tales and Trails is all about. I am Delver, the staff narrator. place to put a tent. <laughs> hey Brandon. Hey, How you doing? Hey, we made it back. <laughs> they look like they're ready to eat, eh? Just brought apples. That's awesome! Hey, get sliced real thin. Yep. Research. Oh yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, the biggest thing is, is if you had kids, I would. I'm supposed to tell you something, but you guys don't have any kids, so I'm not worried. Right. Okay, no, they're curious little creatures. Don't come up and sniff on you. Yeah. Check out your camp. Hey guys, Jeannie's here. Let them decide to come visit. All right. Look at. <laughs> You bet. Thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, one laying, <laughs> laying on the ground there. Uh, a couple of them. They're supposed to park in five, seven, or nine. I don't even know which ones are what. Nine, ten, I see. These are all campsites? Yeah. Or, <laughs> we'll call them parking spots. Well, here's five. Uh, we'll take number five. Feels level here. Hmm. They want you to back in, don't they? Yeah, but I think, you know, because this will create more shade for us. Well, let me read what she told us. Oh, uh, you know, it's, read it to me. I think she said to back in. Oh, I'm sure they do. If they get more people, we'll back in. It's not terribly hot out there. It's only 64 degrees. Hey guys, where are you going? Jeannie's over here. Hey, here they come. Right. You guys met St. Jeannie yet? Mm -hmm. All the birds seem to know her and the seagulls at the beach. Hi, yeah. guys. Hi. Ooh, alpacas. Birds. Alpacas. Alpacas? Yeah. Are they... I don't know what they are. I didn't check ID. <laughs> Episode 63 is about Hawkeye and Jeannie's overnight stay at an alpaca rescue in Tenino, Washington. 
This adventure was found on hipcamp.com. The mission of Cross Creek Alpaca Rescue Incorporated is to foster compassion and responsibility for alpacas and other animals through rescue, intervention, education, and outreach. They continue to help the North American alpaca industry grow and improve by promoting the value of non-breeding alpacas for their fiber. Cross Creek Alpaca Rescue Incorporated is a 501c3 volunteer-based animal welfare organization and was established in 2009 to ensure quality care and treatment of alpacas and other animals. Cross Creek Alpaca Rescue was founded by Sharon Bond and Jacqueline Glover who started with rescuing horses in 2003. Then in 2007, they began to rescue alpacas. There are very few animal rescues dedicated to the saving of alpacas, but the need exists. Too often gelded males, older females, and otherwise unwanted alpacas are passed from farm to farm, or they are put down for little or no reason other than they are a burden to the current owner. Sherry is the contact person who works on finding and placing the alpacas in new forever homes. Her duties also include the job of running the farm. According to their website, they currently have 22 alpacas, one llama, four horses, two mini horses, three dogs, and one cat, all rescues. Their workers are non-paid volunteers. They have not received grants or any financial support from major companies. All feed, medical, travel expenses and farm improvements come from private and adoption donations. When they take on a rescue, they are there oh, for the long haul, bird seed getting out, to yeah. know the yeah, animals, birds here so too. that they can best meet the request made by future homes and make sure the animals that are buddied up or related go to their new homes together. The animals that they care for at Cross oh, Creek, yeah. come in food, with special man. needs. Some we can eventually adopt out and some will I'm stay to live feeder. out their days. How you doing? You guys all stay on this side of the line because I don't want you pooping in our campsite. Look at this little baby over there. It almost like get the bird. Uh, he almost got the bird. <laughs> He's very tasty. Hi. Okay. Hey, baby. Okay. Yeah, turn Cody around the other way so we can see his face. There you go. Oh. Okay, I can't see Cody now. There we go. Tasty, huh? Tasty. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> Good smile. Look at me again and smile. Hi, you're not going to bite somebody, are you? <laughs> no. Come here, little brown nose. Oh, God, you're right. Hurry. Oh, to the front. He's not shy, huh? In a strategic move, yeah. That's all I have for the moment. I have to go. Let's go do some more. Yes, I like your cat. <laughs> I like your hair. <laughs> yeah, and you're so pretty too. What do you think about that? Was it a little too brown for you? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. All right, everybody's on alert. They're going over there. So how long you guys lived here, huh? Look at you guys, yeah. Oh, I know what it is. They're looking at themselves in the reflection. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> how you doing, man? Get in there. Don't kick me, okay? Looks like you guys have already been shaved.
Yeah, that's where the diesel goes in. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching our videos. We hope that they are somewhat interesting. Our goal is to show people, places, and events that you may not normally get to see, hear and how the COVID-19 pandemic may have affected them. We would like to mention that as of this time, Stray Cat LLC, Stray Cat Productions or Hawkeye, Genie, or myself have not received any compensation or consideration from this entity or any other business that we have showcased on any of our episodes. Our videos are amateur, unscripted documentaries of Hawkeye and Genie's travels. Please share our video with others. Please click the like or the thumbs up icon. We need 1000 subscribers to be monetized by YouTube. Click on the round icon to subscribe and be notified when future episodes are available. It is our recommendation that if you are new to Hawkeye's Tales and Trails, start with episode 1. I am Delver, the narrator. Have a prosperous day.